Hi, everyone. So as you most likely have heard by now, Heroku is no longer going to be offering a free tier to deploy your app to the web. So we've invited PO, our Plotly community member, to record a video and show you how to deploy your Dash app to the web for no cost using Render. Enjoy. Hello, hello. PO here. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy your Dash application as a web service for free and a few simple steps. For this, you're going to need a GitHub account, a render.com account, your PI file in which you have your Dash application, as well as a requirements.txt file. And that's pretty much it. Let's get to it. All right, so now I got my Volcano Map Dash application running here as you can see it works we can hover over the volcanoes examine their elevation by type um, now we want to deploy it as we said with render so we're gonna get to github and first of all we're gonna need to create a public repository so here i got my public repository i got my readme file uh, but I got nothing else in it. So we're going to go into our files here. And I got my application here, my PI file running. Um, I'm going to stop it here. And I'm going to drop that right into my GitHub repository. And here uh, again, you got to do it twice. You do a commit changes, and there I got my file stored. Now we want to have this requirement text file that we spoke about, so we simply create here a new text file, text document, and we're going to insert, we're going to first name it requirements.txt. That's very important. We need to spell it correctly and then we're going to open it and we're going to write here the packages that we need to run our application so we're going to need dash version 2.6.0 uh, and the two other ones are pandas and g unicorn and we're going to let render manage the version here because it's just simple it's simple like that um, we're going to close that and we go back to the GitHub repo and we do the same thing. So we copy the rec requirements text file into the repo. Uh, we can, for uh, best practice, we can comment our commit here, um, adding the requirements.txt file and commit changes and it is processing now our github repo is ready to go and we're going to go to the render uh, website so here i i skipped the the part where i create my account uh, i got a random uh, email address here just for this demo but once you got your account created you're going to go into this here you're going to click on new you're going to choose web service and uh, we're going to scroll down and see here this public git repository what we don't want to do here is get back to our github repo and click on code and there is this https link we're going to copy it and paste it right here and click on continue so now we're going to give a service name to our web application uh, so let's call it live volcano map dash app for example here we don't have anything to do with the root directory uh, the environment is python 3 since I'm on the East Coast here, I'm going to select US East. Uh, this is the main branch of our GitHub repo. 
this is all fine too here we gotta tweak it a little bit and we're gonna name the change here g u to g unicorn app we in the first part to the left side of the column we need to write the name of the app so um, if we get back to here we it is named scatter underscore geo so that's what we're gonna write and here we gotta change that to server and as a last step uh, we're gonna need we before we create the web service uh, we got uh, we got to change one little uh, line of code here so we're going to go edit it right in the github repo and we're going to add this line here after the, the app instantiation we're going to write server equals app dot server and then we save that and now it should be good to go and we can give it a try select the free tier for the plan of our web service and click on create web service now it's gonna take a couple minutes all right so now we got our live volcano map application running on render.com what's really cool about this is you can interact with it and it is really easy to share with your clients, with your colleagues, anybody who wants to see your work. You can simply here copy and paste your hyperlink and it'll be accessible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and see you in the next one.